Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. I am really, really excited for this one. Oh. <laughs> Bentley boy. Um, clearly he loves the attention, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Made my coffee, it's 8.30 right now. I'm gonna sit and ice roll this morning. And I wanna talk to you guys about the new 30 day challenge that I am doing. We can either do this challenge together or you guys can create a 30 day challenge of your own, but essentially the goal of this challenge is to do some sort of like reset when it comes to habits and level up my life before the new year. It's so easy to just push it off, wait till the new year to start a challenge. I was thinking about it last night and I'm like, you know what? There's literally no reason why I can't start this challenge tomorrow and change my life in the next 30 days before the new year so that I can continue these good habits into the new year. Now, I think the key to making a list is to choose things that aren't gonna be like almost unattainable to do every single day. Like for example, I did not put on this list work out every single day or you know, go to the gym every single day. Like I didn't do things that I knew wouldn't be attainable for me. So I chose seven things that I personally have been wanting to create into habits that are like actually gonna stick in my life and these are seven habits that I feel like I have fallen off of and these are seven things that I want to do daily. They don't take up a ton of time. It's not something that is gonna like take so much time out of my day to complete these things. All of them are just little challenges that or I wouldn't say challenges, little habits that I want to add into my everyday routine to better my health, my wellness, my mindset, my mental health, and just my overall health in general. I feel like ice rolling in the winter is truly not for the week. Like it's not even peak winter, it's still fall. And early chilly mornings, it's hard to do this. It does feel so nice. This is something that I definitely want to start doing again, but it's not something that I have added onto my list solely because I know cold, like colder months are coming and I truly don't know if I can handle this kind of cold every single morning. What a combo of like an ice roller and an iced coffee. And I was freezing when I woke up this morning, so that's why I threw in this sweat sweat. Let's dive into this list. I'm considering making it a screensaver or like my lock screen on my phone so I can always see it. May or may not do that. Otherwise, it's always in my notes app, typed out. You much know what I wanna do every single day. The very first thing that I wanna do, 10K steps. This is something that I have always said to myself and some days I just don't get enough movement. And that's solely just because I'm not taking as many walks and going out, I feel like, as much as I used to. I still take day I still take Bentley on walks, but it's definitely not as frequent as it used to be when we lived in an apartment complex. Obviously, like I had to take him out on walks three to four times a day because there was no yard for him to just like run around and play in. Here, it's a lot easier, obviously, to just let him out in the backyard. He runs around, plays out there, he hangs out there, but I need to start getting my steps in, whether that is just like more daily walks around the neighborhood or going to the gym and making it a habit of doing like my steps in the morning on the treadmill if it's like too cold. There's ways that I can find to do it. What's great about it is obviously you can do that pretty much anywhere. Like I said, I wanted all of this to be attainable, especially if I'm like not at home. I didn't want it to be something that was too challenging to where if I'm not home, I'm not gonna do it. Next thing we have, 10 minutes of red light therapy, which also goes hand in hand with 10 minutes of meditation. This is something that I really started to do and I was pretty much doing it every single morning when I had first gotten my red light and moved home. And then I started going to friends' houses and staying um, at their place, like weekends in Orange County. And I wasn't home as often to like implement it into my routine. I don't really have any plans of traveling or going anywhere in the next 30 days. So this at least will help kickstart that habit back in so I can make it more of a daily ritual in my routine. I got my red light from Amazon. So I just set that up and I wanna do my 10 minutes of red light therapy while I'm doing my 10 minutes of meditation. 10 the 10 and 10. 10 is because that's like the minimum that you truly need for 
for the red light therapy every single day. There's so, so, so many benefits to red light therapy. If you wanna do a quick little Google search, you can read all of the lists and benefits yourself. I always say, educate yourself about something. Take it to Google if you want to read up on all of the amazing benefits of red light therapy. The one that I personally have is from Amazon. It's portable, so if I decided to go travel somewhere, um, it's literally small enough to where I could just bring it with me and plug it in anywhere and I can still do my red light therapy pretty much anywhere. Um, and the meditation. I am terrible with sticking to meditations that are more than like, I'd say five minutes. Five minutes and over is where I start to feel like a challenge trying to stay in the meditation. So this is more so to challenge myself to stick to a longer meditative state and really get deeper into that um, and make that like connection with myself. So this one's a little bit more of a challenge for myself, but the 10 and 10 kind of go hand in hand. So I'm gonna do those two together. The next thing that I want to do is read 10 pages. I considered putting read for 10 minutes, but realistically I could sit there and read for five, read for 10 minutes and only get through like five pages. Like I tend to get so distracted some days. So I made sure to put 10 pages and this is nice because you can break it up and do like five pages in the morning while you're sitting sipping your coffee or I can do five pages at night right before I go to bed but 10 pages is not like too unattainable and I think mm. it'll really kickstart the habit of getting to read again because I've kind of fallen off that as well so small little things to implement bigger changes in my routine and the next thing that we have this is something that i literally used to do every single day again when i lived in an apartment and i was taking bentley for walks multiple times a day i was listening to multiple educational podcasts every single day one of my favorites personally is the mindset mentor it's not like a podcast that takes an hour out of your day it's anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes which for me was perfect because our walks were usually about 20 minutes and i got to listen to like four different ones every single day and i was like going through them really quickly and i was starting to be like okay I don't have like any new you know episodes to listen to so this is something that I want to implement when I start doing either like morning or evening walks to get my steps in I want to be listening to an educational podcast or another thing that is like kind of combined into this Spotify just released recently like audiobooks I just found that out so if you have Spotify premium you can listen to audiobooks this is also another great way that I feel like I will be able to get like further into reading as well and if there's books on there that I don't physically have have hard copies of I can just listen to them instead I can listen to an audiobook on my way to the gym I can listen to an audiobook on my morning walk again these are things that I can like combine with each other so it doesn't seem like all of these like huge tasks every single day that I need to be completing next thing we have is finish a 40 ounce of my tumbler cup this is the tumbler cup that I have with me every single day and typically I feel like I don't finish it I don't know what he wants. I think he kind of wants to lay underneath the chair here. For anyone wondering about the cone and Bentley, um, if you've been watching my vlogs, you kind of know. He has a little infection on one of his paws and will not stop chewing at it. And it's really hard to get like the medicine on his paw daily. He also is like still recovering from an ear infection. So um, the cone prevents him from you know, messing up his ear again and chewing out his paw even more. Okay, anyways, back to my tumbler cup. I, okay, see the minute that I take the cone off, he goes right for his paw and this is why we can't go without it. I have a hard time finishing one of these, typically unless I go to the gym and I work out. I wanna make sure that I am drinking at least one of these every single day, minimum one of these, cause I feel like I drink like a lot of other liquids as well. Um, so I don't wanna say two of these because you know, I drink water with my greens. I'll drink um, sparkling water or like juice, stuff like that throughout the day. But I just wanna get at least one of these in and a packet of my electrolytes. Those are essential. Uh, I drink the element packets in the raspberry salt. So that's the other thing. The very last thing that I'm gonna challenge myself to do is no phone after 9 p.m. This one is gonna be really difficult for me. It's gonna be a lot of self-discipline for this because I have been on a really bad habit of sitting in mindless scrolling for hours before bed and I do not want to keep doing this to myself because I did not go to bed till 1 a.m. last night. Granted, I didn't have anything to do today that was like 
pressing to where I needed to be in bed at a certain time, but this tends to happen to me on the weekdays too when I do need to wake up early for a workout or to get work done, and I can't keep doing this to myself. So those are the seven things that I will be challenging myself to do. Today marks day one, so we're gonna vlog today and see if I can realistically get all of these things checked off my to-do, or not my to-do list, checked off of my habit tracker for today. I spent the entire morning editing. I finally finished my video and I have yet even felt my water bottle once today. It's empty, minus a little bit of water that I had in there yesterday. So I'm gonna pop an element packet in here, fill this up and sip on it. I think I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos and then potentially try to take a nap. I'm gonna go for my walk at like 3.30ish and get my steps in for the day. If you know, you know, these are my favorite packets, the element packets in the raspberry salt flavor. I think my video is going to be uploaded in like the next five minutes. I'm actually really, really excited about this vlog, so I hope you guys like it. It's a productive Saturday vlog. Okay, water, so at least I know by the end of the day, as long as I finish one of these, I'm on track with my goals for the next 30 days. Okay, I'm getting ready to go on my walk right now. I have a feeling I probably won't hit the 10K steps that like my goal is today, but I also haven't been wearing my Apple Watch since like the beginning of the day to actually track my steps. So based on how often I've like walked around the house today, I probably have a good amount of steps in, but that's okay. I'm not gonna be too hard on myself if I don't hit the 10K steps today. I'm just gonna go for a walk, see how long we walk. Um, and then I kinda wanna rearrange my room a little bit when we get back. I've like had an idea that I wanna try out, so we honestly might try that out later. I just wanna get this walk in before the sun goes down because it gets dark so early now that I don't want to be out walking when it's dark outside and throw on some cool lotion and some SPF. Grab my water and we're gonna head out. I got my video uploaded today, happy with that. I don't feel like the algorithm is picking up my videos very well lately, which is really frustrating because today's video that I posted, I was so excited to share. I really, really loved the content in it, but it was like literally bottom. If you guys upload YouTube videos, you know, but like when you see it's like 10 out of 10, meaning that like it's not getting any clicks no one's watching it like it's just so frustrating when you put like so much effort into a video and spend hours editing it only for it to like be at the very bottom of your like ranking list on youtube but hopefully it'll like slowly pick up like i really really love how that vlog came out so I guess we'll see how it does like throughout the rest of the week. Who knows, maybe views will pick up. If not, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep pushing with like this new content and hopefully it'll slowly catch on and do better because I am like really proud of that video from the other day. Okay, um, I'm gonna throw my hair up. We're just vibing with this whole blue moment. Whole set is from Vitality. I can't remember if I said that or not. Okay. I have a little um, vibe going in the back. My water is still full. I did not drink enough of it. That's alright though. I'm gonna bring it on my walk with me. I'm gonna throw on, I think, like a light jacket. I'm gonna bring my Lululemon belt bag because it's a little bit smaller. And then... I don't know how I feel about this gray. Walking shoes today. We have my APLs. I don't know how much I'm vibing with this jacket, honestly. I might throw on a different jacket. I don't even know how warm it is outside. Like, it could be really warm. It's 77 degrees out. I don't even think I'll need the jacket. I'll probably go without it at this point. Because it's warm. I might just throw on a little tank top instead. Oh, JK. I love this little gray one. We'll do this. This is from Aritzia. Okay, well, let's go get our steps in.
officially back from the walk. We did 2.3 or 2.4 miles. We could have easily done three, um, but it was kind of starting to get dark outside, so went back to the car. One is tired, like exhausted, huh? We don't have much left on the list for today of things that I need to accomplish. I for sure will not be hitting 10,000 steps. I mean, maybe I could. I just don't think that I will. I think if anything, I might hit like 7,000 before the end of the night, but I didn't like fully plan and I should have gone on a walk earlier. So that is noted for tomorrow that I need to be more active. It's also like a Sunday, so I'm gonna give myself a little bit of grace since I'm not being like super crazy hard on myself for this. This challenge is just to start implementing moving my body more sticking to better habits the fact that i even got out today and did a walk is more than i feel like i would have done on a sunday so i'm proud of myself for that i do it's so dark in here i do still kind of want to mess around with like the layout of my room and potentially put my desk on this wall under that window only because i get like bleared by the sun in my face when I'm sitting here and working with like the windows open um, and then just shift my nightstand and my bed all the way over to the corner move the bed or move the dresser over there and then I feel like that might give like more walking space over there as well I just need to figure out what the heck I'm gonna do with that that's the only thing that I won't really have space for I think once I like shift this and move the desk that way because I kind of want to put the desk there or here and then put the mirror right there too. I don't know. These are all ideas, but I feel like it would also be easier for Bentley to like be able to walk around in here a little bit more because you can kind of see that it's like pretty narrow in like both sides. Essentially, if I'm able to clear out my closet and find some space for these, then I won't need this rack at all and i truly will have a lot more space in my room in general yeah that's where we're at i'm debating if i want to do all of this or if i want to wait and do it in another vlog because i'm like i still need some steps so i still need some movement but i also need to read 10 pages i need to meditate for 10 minutes and do my red light therapy for 10 minutes maybe we'll sit and do my red light therapy in meditation for 10 minutes and then I can read my 10 pages like right before bed. This is the beauty of this little red light therapy that I have. It's portable so I can realistically oops, 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 bring it anywhere which is honestly so nice. I'm gonna turn off all of the lights I think and sit here and do my 10 minutes of red light therapy and my 10 minutes of meditation. I need to find a meditation to do first. Stop giving me kisses. Hi, thank you, sweet boy. Hi, did you have fun on our walk? Did you have fun on our walk? Okay, red light, looking scary, but <laughs> this is the meditation that I'm gonna do. Evening meditation to release the day and evolve who you are. The app that I like to use is called Insight Timer. It's free and there's a ton of different things on there. So I'm gonna sit here, do my 10 minute meditation while I sit and do my red light for 10 minutes as well. Obviously I think red light meditation is a little bit more beneficial the more skin that you are able to expose to it. I'm just gonna sit here in my workout set for now and do this meditation. and the 10 minutes of red light therapy. She hears our neighbors outside walking and like the kids, and you can hear them. I feel really good about that. I'm glad it was like, it got a lot harder to sit with myself towards the end of that meditation, but I'm glad I stuck with it. 
Those kids are so noisy outside. He's going crazy. And we got one day of meditation done. I'm starving. I'm gonna make myself some dinner. I have some leftover steak tacos from the other day, so I'm gonna go make that for dinner because now it's 5 p.m. and I've worked up an appetite after that long walk. Leftover steak tacos for dinner tonight. This is a usual recipe for me. These are the tortilla shells that I use. I like crunchy tacos. Um, and then I will squeeze lime juice. I pop them in the oven. I'm waiting for them to finish heating up. This is all of the meat that I cooked the other day. Um, I typically get about like three meals out of this. And then I will add shredded cheese. This is from Trader Joe's. I always do plain Greek yogurt instead of like sour cream. This also has a ton of protein in it as well. This is the yogurt that I use in the mornings too. This has 17 grams of protein in three quarters cup. So ton of protein. I top it with cilantro and then also some red onion and that's pretty much everything that goes into the steak tacos. I kind of forgot but earlier today I, oh, my taco shells are done. I was saying, earlier today, I realized I had extra credits left on my Poshmark account. I think I have like a ton of referral credits from like you guys signing up to my link. I think it's like usually I get $10, you guys get $10, something like that. I don't know. I don't remember ever really like promoting my Poshmark link to sign up, but apparently somewhere, somehow, I did, and you guys have been using it to sign up. So over like the last year, I think I've accumulated like $60 in credits. So I started doing a little search to see if I could find some of the New Balance running shoes that I really want. And I found someone that was selling what seems to be like brand new ones, because I didn't want to buy like used running shoes. Um, it seems like they're brand new ones. Mind you, I've never tried this brand before. I've never tried them on. Don't know if they're actually gonna fit me, but if it doesn't work out, I'm just gonna put them back on my Poshmark and resell them. Um, but I got the New Balance 1080 V12. He only had like white and blue um, and a seven and a half. So I'm hoping, because that's like my true size, hopefully they actually fit. But I've literally all day, just for funsies, because I was like, why not? Like, we'll see how often he'll go back and forth. I got the price lowered down from $129 to, I think I paid $69 or $79. Mind you, like 60 or 65 of that was like in Poshmark credits. So it wasn't actually like my own money. It was just like referral credits that I was using. And then I still have a few Poshmark orders that... I haven't like cashed out yet on so I did have some like extra money still in my Poshmark account so I think I only paid technically like $13 for these shoes so if these shoes come in and they're actually the correct size and they fit me that's gonna be an insane deal I can't believe like this person like let them go like that low I mean I guess for them it's still like they're making money off of it but in my mind I'm like I just got these for $13 like that's such a steal pray for me that they fit because then these can be my new running shoes and I technically didn't really have to pay anything for them because the $13 was the leftover money from Poshmark items that I had sold <laughs> so I never actually cashed out on that was like a fun little random negotiation that I decided to go for because I was like you know what why not we'll see if he'll negotiate like I started at 55 just because I was trying not to like spend any of my money and then I realized that I had money left over that I hadn't cashed out yet so I guess all in all it kind of worked out for me in my favor but I really really hope they fit I hope they're true to size like I know Nikes I have to size up on and Adidas I have to size down on so I've never tried New Balance Hopefully they're two to size because um, the girl that I follow on TikTok, oh, I forgot to put my red onion on these. The girl that I follow on TikTok, I'm sure you guys already know her, Jamie Van Sluten. She's like a running girly on TikTok. Pretty sure these are the same shoes that she wears all the time for running. And they honestly just look really comfy. So I'm kind of excited to try them out. I'll let you guys know when they arrive and uh, how will they fit. All right, dinner is served. 
I need a better light in here. Maybe I should turn on, like, actually. There we go. No, it's nice and bright. I wasn't gonna rearrange my room, and then I remembered I do need to listen to a podcast oh. still. So this would be the perfect opportunity to number one, get my podcast in, and number two, challenge myself to see if I can get this done in like, oh, what was that? <laughs> in like 20-ish minutes, because that's how long this podcast episode is gonna be. So the plan, biggest thing that needs to move is the desk. I just don't know if it will be able to squeeze through the spot that I need it to move through. If it will, then it'll be easy. If it won't, then this will be a little bit difficult. But I'm going to move, shift everything this way and put the desk over there and we'll see how I like it. Sleep on it tonight and then I can decide tomorrow morning how I'm feeling about everything. But that's the plan. That's the goal. For my podcast today, I'm going to listen to You Want Out again podcast that I'm going to listen to is from Mindset Mentor. I used to listen to this every single morning, every single day on my walks. Now he walks back in. Um, there are only like anywhere from 18 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to pick one and we're going to just start moving stuff around and hopefully make this quick. Okay. I feel like this one is really going to set the mood in the town. Why are you whining? <laughs> What's up? This one. Why you're lazy and how to stop procrastinating. It's 21 minutes, so that's how long we have to do this. Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Dial. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button. One and a half podcasts later <laughs> here we are I definitely want to get rid of this clothing rack I don't need it I just need to reorganize my closet to get all of those jackets in there somehow which will be a project for another day because I am sweaty and out of breath from that we have my clothing rack over here for now again I want to get rid of that and that'll open up that corner and then this is what we have on this side. I feel like Bentley will enjoy having a lot more space to walk around right here. And then this is still a cute little spot for mirror photos and whatnot, so it works. And I just need to clear off my desk of some stuff. I shoved my other nightstand in there. And I think, I think we're vibing with it. I'm gonna see how I feel when I wake up tomorrow morning if I hate it. I might move it all back, who knows? You guys already know how I am. Okay, I'm gonna hop in the shower, rinse off. I think all that we have left today is to finish this, which this is still pretty full, so I'm like pretty behind on that. I'll get there. And then we gotta read 10 pages. Oh, Bentley wants inside. Okay, I listened to almost two full podcasts, so that was like 40 minutes instead of the 20 minutes that I was hoping that it was going to take. 6.30 now. I need to reorganize this a little bit. Okay. Should be good now. One of these needs to go downstairs, the other, my other water, my snacks. fan remotes and my phone okay it looks cute in here I like it it's like a cozy vibe I would love to get like a cute little chair for this corner I feel like that would be fun and cozy but again need to get rid of this clothing rack eventually somehow reorganize my closet perfectly I wish I had like drawers underneath my bed 
because then I could just put like fold up my coats and put them in there. That's a great idea. I could also fold them up and put them just under my bed in general. I guess I don't need specifically drawers for that, but this is where we're at. I need to turn the fan on. I'm sweating and I want to turn this off. Let's turn these into more of an evening vibe and just like set more of the mood in here. There we go. Okay, well, I need some sort of light on <laughs> so I can read later when I get out of the shower. I'm gonna worry about organizing my desk tomorrow. That will be a tomorrow project. I wonder how many steps in today. I realized that your health app in your phone tracks so much. My mom and I were like looking through it after a walk. There's so much information in here. It's crazy. I realized that my phone is still tracking my step count, whereas my Apple Watch is only tracking it obviously when it's on. So I think my step count on my phone is like a little bit more accurate. Whereas like my watch is only accurate if I've been wearing it from like the minute that I woke up to the minute that I went to bed. This is kind of why I want an aura ring so badly. I really want to try it out. I've also heard that there's a bunch of other different ones that are out there on the market that are a lot cheaper, don't require a subscription. So I'm kind of curious about those ones too. I gotta look into all of that, but I'm gonna definitely do my research before I like purchase a smart ring, but I would definitely love to have a smart ring to wear. Okay, let's see what my steps were for today. 6,757 steps. So we did not hit 10K, very, very close to 7,000, which is still pretty dang good in one day. Essentially 10,000 steps is five miles. So I'm hoping by like the end of the month, my average will be a lot higher and closer to that 10,000. I need to make it a priority to get out more often, go for more walks and really just like bump up my step count over the next 30 days. So that's what we're gonna work towards. Let's hop in the shower and get ready to crawl into bed to read my 10 pages. The book that I'm currently reading is Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Dr. Joe Dispenza. I'm rereading it and it's so good. Possibly reorganized a lot more and I am just like in one of those moods now that I'm like I low-key want to get rid of so many things so I think I might do another major clo closet clean out I've done quite a few since I've moved home but I feel like there's just like clothes where like sometimes it takes you like multiple rounds to go through things and actually realize that like, you genuinely don't need it or it doesn't serve you or it just like has no purpose in your closet so I feel like as time goes on I'm slowly realizing more and more things so i think i'm gonna i literally went i have like probably 20 things on the clothing rack i moved it out into the hallway of poshmark stuff that i'm going to work on listing at some point this week so there will be a lot more new stuff on my poshmark probably like updated every so often until the end of this year so if there's something in my closet that you guys have been eyeing and i put it on my poshmark there's your chance my Poshmark is at it's Catherine June, but let me show you guys kind of what I reorganized a little bit because now I'm exhausted and it's 9 p.m. and I need to just crawl into bed. Mirror is back in this corner. I genuinely just love the mirror in this corner. I feel like it really just opens up the space a lot more and it doesn't feel very crammed. See, this is oh, bud, 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 bud. Bud. this is the ear and that's one of the paws. See, this is why I need to put this back on him. I cannot wait until he's healed and he doesn't have to wear this. I genuinely feel so bad, obviously. I wouldn't want to wear a cone either. Yeah, I know. What a deal. Good boy. Good boy. I know. There you go. All done. All done. Okay. Um, corner looks like this now. Oh, hello. Hello.
hello. This corner looks like this now. I'm gonna put the mirror back up above my desk since that's like a big empty space now. Um, this is still here because I love having this spot right here as like my little, my, my, can I speak? My little meditation and red light area. Desk is now over here. Um, and nightstand is now back out here. And here, my my problem is I think I need to put jackets in drawers and I need to simplify my jackets even more, which will definitely take time. And I think I also need to start having like summer wardrobe versus like winter wardrobe and really be able to like pull things out and put them like under my bed and away for summer. That way I can have like all of my fall and winter stuff out. I think that will also help because I tend to just have like everything all year round, mostly because I live in California and like you kind of can get away with it, but I can't get away with it with how small this closet is. <laughs> so that's something that I am gonna need to work on. And I think I might go through a few more of my shoes or something or like make some room up there to figure out how to organize some things better. I don't know. That's a project for another day, but I just figured I would show you guys the rest of the updates before we end off this vlog because I finished my book. I finished, I probably got a good amount of steps in from all of that. I'm probably closer to like 75 after all of that moving stuff around. I'm gonna finish my water before I go to bed. Poured myself a glass of wine. Legit, haven't had more than like two sips of it, so I'm gonna finish that before I go to bed too. And now I'm gonna get off my phone because it's 9 p.m. and I have wasted all of the time. So no phone after 9 p.m. Cutting myself off. If there's anything that I need to look at, it will be there tomorrow. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna worry about winding down for the rest of my evening. I'd say that was a very successful day one of 30 of this challenge. I will update you guys throughout the vlogs with how the challenge is going and stay tuned for another closet clean out, more stuff on my Poshmark, and just trying to feel like, I feel like by the new year, I really just wanna have more stuff out of my life and less like physical things in my life. And I want everything to have like a very like a purpose i want everything to be like very in i want to be very intentional with all the things that i own because i feel like i just have so many things and i don't want to have this many things and keep track of this many things because then i have to clean this many things i'm gonna end off the vlog here i love you guys so much thank you for watching and we'll talk soon